This video here will tell you all you need to be successful in your military career. The terms that I'm using will be Navy terms, but I'm pretty sure regardless of what branch you're in, y'all have y'all's own version of it. So let's get into it. And this is in no order. First things first, do your job. Know what your job is. Be great at your job to the point where you're the subject matter expert and you could teach people junior to help. And of course, with our job, at least for enlisted, we train the officers so they're comfortable with what you're doing and the job also. Two, depending on the unit and the command you're at, collateral also helps. So yes, you're doing your job, which is expected of you anyway, but what are you doing to make the command better? Are you doing it for physical reasons, for like PRT, physical readiness training, in which you do, I know it's like the ACFT for like Army. So are you partaking in that? Do people know to come to you because you're the expert for that? So that's a big one for collaterals. And it's also a bonus, at least in some cases, if there's one that's completely trash and you bring it up to where it should be, that's also a good thing. In the Navy, we have something called the Learning and Development Roadmap. And what that is, it just dictates with your job, the qualifications and certain things that you should have whenever you're within that certain rank. So whenever they look at ranking boards or certain things, they look at that. So they'll say, hey, this person's an E5. Let's look at their ladder. What calls should they have? Mind you, each thing is different. I'm not talking about special programs, but that's another thing that they look into. So if you're not looking at that, then please do. Of course, great mentorship and leadership, but mentorship as a whole, I'm not going to go into a big thing about that. Make sure you have mentors within your job and outside of your job because they can help you with what you have going on and they give you some outside experience, you know, outside looking in. For the Navy, you know, we have eval. So are you above risk? We have something called a PSR, which shows our eval scores each year we're at a command. So are we above the risk? If we are, then that's great. That's amazing. If not, then mm, there must be a reason to explain that. So if you're staying above that risk, then that's good also. And trust me, I might be missing out on some, but the last one that I would love to say is, your eval write-up. A lot of people care about P's, MP's, and EP's, not knowing that it's all about the write-up within itself. From my CMC, and then I've seen it firsthand also, there have been people that have EP's and they didn't make chief, but the ones that were P's and MP's that had a great write-up, they're the ones that got selected for chief. I never sat the chief board, but all I'm saying is, if someone has helped all their sailors and did all these things compared to someone else that is the best thing since sliced butter, but not, they've done nothing else, you know, think about that. But leaders, check in. Let me know your thoughts on this and what did I miss out if I did. And also, thank you for watching. And yeah, I would love to hear your feedback. So let me know.